units from his source fix we have a uh, iphone 7 plus so you can see the how they damage in the screen yeah it's look really bad so this is what uh, the story about the phone the customer said before they cracked the screen he has a problem with the charge sometimes charge need to wiggle the the plug to make it charge and i can feel that it's kind of a little bit loose this one so and they ask us to just change the charging port plus the screen so that's what i did i put the charging flex cable and i did put the screen but the phone doesn't power on at all Phone is jumping to the 410 milliamp, and it stay at over there. In my experience, that uh, 400 milliamp most of the time is come from the the bad connection to the net. The phone cannot communicate to the net. So I'm gonna put another screen to see if it's give us any Apple logo or any display in the screen or even like the iTunes sign, like if the phone in the recovery mode. Let's go just test it together. Gonna plug the charger. 410 milliamp take no display in the screen another thing we is uh, put the external power supply turn on the power supply turn on the phone taking like about 80 90 100 uh, milliamp stay over there i see this uh, problem before so next i'm gonna connect it to the computer and they see if the phone like uh, and the dfu mode uh, the computer doesn't detect the phone at all nothing nothing at all gonna try to put the phone in a dfu mode by holding the power button then home button till i hear something connected to the computer but there is nothing so check the motherboard and look at it that's how the motherboard look like so you can see this spot here is really bent you see it this one here it's kind of yep yeah check there like this the shell is just you see it it's just by itself so let's go to the microscope we're going to see better Go to the board view, we can see the the two bad uh, cracked coils. This one here, this one here in the CPU line, and the one here, one side is a VCC main and the other side I guess, uh, let's go to the, this chip here. So these two coils, that's what was uh, the problem. And I just uh, resolder them and uh, we check the phone if it's work. So here I connect uh, my DC power supply and just the screen. Gonna push the power button. So there is zero uh, amp going to the phone. That's good. That means there is no surge. I'm gonna push the power button and here you can see uh, we got more amps now is a 200 milliamp yeah, I hold the, the power button long time that's why it's uh, so now I just leave the power button let me see and we have the Apple logo I think yep yeah, the phone passed 600 milliamp. I think it's passing the first stage, like checking the, the hardware. 
So now just waiting for uh, the home screen to show. And uh, the home screen. Let's test the charge. Yep, charge work. That's good. All right, let's put uh, the phone together and we test the SIM card. Test the charging. Yep, the charging is good. Phone charging by 1.4 amp. Time the phone is charging. I'm gonna put the screen together. So the phone is uh, invalid SIM. Hmm. Search. Yep. You 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 may may eat some chips. Yeah. Later. Yeah, it scared me at the first. It showed invalid SIM. But now we see uh, the bars. There is a little crack in the home button. I don't know if you can see it. But the home button still work. I may, I'm not sure if it's gonna read the fingerprint. Yep. So, perfect. The home button still work. Network good. I still can't test the sound because the phone has a password. But it's, uh, it's not like it's... Uh, Look what happened. Okay. Look like hey, I cannot do anything. Hold the power button. Yeah, just hold it for a long time and uh, try again. Yeah, this phone is done. I'm I hope this video gonna help uh, someone that's facing the same issue, or gonna help you if you are learning how to do the micro soldering phones and the electronic uh, repair. And uh, thank you for watching, and see you next video.